Hey there, me again. Okay, we're just sitting here in Yammer in my browser at the moment, and uh, we've got a question here that's come from Dale saying, how can I unlink my Yammer feed from MS Teams? Now, what happened was a few months ago, uh, Microsoft Teams did an update, and what they did was they automatically tied in, if you had a Yammer feed, they automatically tied that into the notifications or activity section of Microsoft Teams. So that if something, um, if you weren't in your browser and looking at Yammer, and something came in for you that somebody notified you, they tagged you in a post, they replied to one of your Yammer posts or whatever, you would actually get a notification in Microsoft Teams about that, and you would be able to view your Yammer feed and uh, work with your Yammer feed within Microsoft Teams. Uh, to show you what that actually looks like, I'll jump across the Teams, and here I am just in um, a chat at the moment. But uh, under my feed, which is under activity, you can see a whole lot of things that are Teams related. But then as well as that, I've got this one here that says Elisa mentioned you all company. Now this, uh, you can see with the little blue icon there, is a Yammer community. So this is Yammer inside of Microsoft Teams. Uh, and you can see here that uh, Karen has asked the question. This is actually Yammer, but I'm sitting inside Teams. Now, um, some people might like that. Uh, it looks a bit strange having a, an application inside another application, but uh, well, that's Microsoft just trying to integrate everything across their uh, Microsoft 365 platform to make things easier for people. Um, it, they turned it on by default, but you can turn it off if it's something you do not want to have. If you want to have uh, Yammer going only via your browser or via your phone app or iPad app. Uh, even the desktop app of Yammer, there's a desktop app of, app of Yammer down here that I don't tend to use all that much. Um, I prefer sitting in the browser. Um, you can turn it off from Microsoft Teams. So how do you do it? Uh, it's a matter of going to the communities. When you're, when you're actually in Teams and you get a notification about Yammer, it's using an app called Communities, and that app automatically pops up here on the left-hand side, and you can remove it if you want to. Now, if it's not showing up here on the left, what you need to do is click on these three dots, and you need to go find an app, and you need to type in Communities. Communities. And when you do that, it will show up there, and when you click on it, it will actually open it up in a little window like you see here. Now, when it's come up here and you can see it in your Teams, to remove it, it's a matter of right-clicking on the Communities icon on the left-hand side and choose this option that says Uninstall. And when you click that, are you sure you want to uninstall Communities? Now, that's not removing you from Yammer or anything like that. It's simply uh, de-linking the Communities app from Microsoft Teams. And if you ever want to put it back, it's just a matter of going back into uh, apps in here and finding the communities app, and you can re-add it uh, whenever you're ready. So that is uh, how you remove the communities app. So this is where you would add it. That's how you remove the communities app from Microsoft Teams. And I hope that answers your question, and I'll see you in the next video.